Before we begin with the session 1 of the 4th Oil and Gas Conclave 2014, I would like to mention that SPM is organizing three more grand conclaves this year. The next one being Samavesh 2014, the Human Resource Management Conclave on the 10th of October. Then on the 7th and 8th November, we have the second Business Management Symposium. And finally, the fourth Power Sector Symposium 2014 on the 15th of November. Considering the domain inclinations of the audience towards the energy sector, the Power Sector Symposium team has prepared a small video which we would like to present to the gathering. Can we have the video please? We extend invitation to all the guests present here to all the upcoming events at SPM. These events are poised to be as grand if not more as the oil and gas conclave 2014. Moving ahead, India's economic growth is closely connected to energy demand. The need for oil and gas is therefore projected to grow further. To meet this demand, the government of India has adopted various policies such as allowing 100% FDI in many segments of the sector, such as natural gas, petroleum products, pipelines and refineries. This move, along with various others, has made the oil and gas sector in India a more viable place to invest. Further, the closure of small refineries in North America and Europe due to high compliance costs along with difficulties in obtaining permits for greenfield refineries in these regions due to environmental concerns is expected to result into large capacity additions in emerging countries like India. The growth spurred by the unconventional oil and gas market is also creating a wealth of opportunities. This makes discussion on the architecture and prospects of the oil and gas industry substantially important. With this background, let us begin this session with a brief introduction of the dignitaries. We are pleased to have amongst us Sri Kaushik Deb, economist, British Petroleum. Trained as an applied economist, Mr. Kaushik Dev focuses on the policy interventions to correct market failures in the overall context of liberalization of the economy. His experience includes sector restructuring studies in the energy, transport and water sector, energy environment economy modeling, the use of green fiscal measures to meet environmental goals and pricing reforms in basic service provisioning. Mr. Deb has worked closely with several municipal, state and national level agencies in this sector, advising them on policy and operational issues related to organizational and sector restructuring, both as a consultant as well as while serving on subject-specific committees set up by various governments. As a doctor of science from the ETH Zurich, Mr. Deb guided and implemented research in applied economics in Terry University. He also was the program director of the MBA programs in, in the university. His portfolio at IDFC included policy research and advocacy on infrastructure and environmental economics issues. At BP, Mr. Deb leads the analysis of the global natural gas markets and macroeconomic developments in the Asia-Pacific region as a part of the economics team there. I request the student volunteers to felicitate Mr. Kaushik Dev with a sapling and a bouquet, the sapling being a token of the university's green initiative. We welcome you, sir. We 
We are privileged to be graced by the presence of Sri Anwar Hussain, Director SBU Tight Oil Can India Limited. Mr. Hussain has 25 years of worldwide production and reservoir engineering experience gained in operations, technical and management roles. He has contributed in the field development planning, reservoir management, surveillance and business planning for different reservoir types. Mr. Hussain's core competencies pertain to subsurface discipline integration, production data analysis, reservoir performance prediction, multi-well diagnosis, well test analysis, nodal analysis, well completion, production enhancement initiatives, sand and water management. Over the years, he has gained broad range of experience in petrophysics, geomechanics, drilling, logging, cementing, perforating, well intervention and, and integrity management, production operations, surface facilities, scoping, economics, commercial, ranking, governance and assurance of project management, numerical simulation, workflow modeling and integrated asset modeling. Mr. Anwar Hussain joined BG Group as Chief Petroleum Engineering Technical Consultant in November 2005, moving on to the roles of Head of Production Technology and RPE Manager. He has written many technical papers and presented, presented petroleum engineering courses to various international and national oil companies at universities. He is an active SPE member where he is invited as a panelist and keynote speaker. Mr. Hussain served as steering committee member in several SPE forum, ATW and ATCE. He is a membership director for SPE Egypt and is also an ST SPE distinguished lecturer. Currently, he is serving as a member of the SPE Completions Optimization Technologies Award Committee. Mr. Hussain is a BSc with honors in petroleum engineering from UTEC of Malaysia from the 1988 batch and he acquired a master's degree in integrated reservoir management from IFP France in 1997. He joined the industry as Schlumberger Field Engineer in 1988. I request the student volunteers to felicitate Mr. Anwar Hussain with a sapling and a bouquet. We welcome you, sir. We are also pleased to have amongst us Sri Shashank Jha, Sales Director, India, GE Oil & Gas. Mr. Jha is India Region Sales Director for the Sub-Sea Business Vertical of GE Oil & Gas. He is accountable for driving order growth and building a sustainable business for GE in offshore and subsea projects in the India region. Earlier, he was trained for two years by GE in specialized commercial skills on the experienced commercial leadership program. Mr. Jha got his degree in petroleum engineering from Indian School of Mines in year 2000. Since then, he has worked across the energy domains in operations, commercial, business development, sales and marketing roles. He completed his MBA from the Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore in 2004 and returned to the energy sector he is so passionate about. Mr. Jha brings with him a global perspe perspective, B2B marketing expertise, multicultural sensitivity, clarity of thinking, first-hand sales experience and a strong dose of imagination. He is striving to drive growth for his P&L through large EPC projects and is looking for talented professionals with upstream sector experience to be a part of his core team. Mr. Jha tries to give back to the energy sector by serving on various industry technical forums. He is on the steering committee of various SPE deep water events. He is the secretary of the newly found Society of Underwater Technologies India chapter and takes occasional guest lectures in engineering and management institutes for energy sector professionals. He takes special interest in coaching and mentoring young talent in the energy sector. We would surely want to be trained by you one day, sir. I request the student volunteers to felicitate Mr. Shashank Jha with a sapling and a bouquet. We welcome you, sir. It gives me immense pleasure in introducing Sri Manmohan Ahuja, President Technical at Petronet LNG Limited. As President Technical in Petronet LNG Limited, Mr. Ahuja heads the technical division responsible for setting up LNG storage and regasification terminals in India, including selection of lump sum EPC contractor, project management consultants, arrangement of shipping and monitoring of construction of terminals and LNG ships. He has been directly responsible for setting up PLL's first LNG terminal at The Hage and second terminal at Kochi. 
Mr. Ahuja is currently involved in expansion of Dahej LNG terminal and third terminal at East Coast besides other projects of the company. Prior to PLL, Mr. Ahuja worked with the Stork Engineering and Contracting Group as the Chief Engineer Process, where he was responsible for process design engineering of various onshore and offshore oil and gas processing installations. Mr. Ahuja has also worked as Process Manager at Engineers India Limited, where he was responsible for designing of gas processing plants, refineries, fertilizers and petrochemical plants and pipelines. He was also responsible for the detailed engineering follow-up, pre-commissioning and commissioning of various gas plants. He has presented a number of papers on design of LNG terminals, safety and environment, energy conservation, natural gas processing, transportation and utilization, and is a life member of the Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers. Mr. Ahuja is an alumnus of Punjab University from where he acquired a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. I request the student volunteers to felicitate Mr. Ahuja with a sapling and a bouquet. We welcome you, sir. As the session moderator, we have with us Dr. Pramod Paliwal, Professor and Dean, School of Petroleum Management, PDPU. Dr. Paliwal has over 20 years of corporate and academic experience. He has published in various international and national journals of management. Dr. Paliwal has also been associated with consulting assignments in the area of sales distribution network and retail diversification. By the virtue of his academic and professional interest in natural gas industry, he has been invited for research-based presentations, deliberations and workshops at international forums in natural gas distribution business spanning Europe, Middle East, North Africa and USA. I request the student volunteers to felicitate Dr. Paliwal with a sapling and a bouquet. We are privileged to have you, sir. I would now like to invite Dr. Heman Trivedi to come and say a few words, please. Sorry to be in the middle of the experts and the audience, but uh, I have a small invitation and a request, in fact, to all my industry uh, guests on campus today. Uh, as a marketing man, you may think that I want to boast about the technical prowess of PDPU, but on the other hand, it's actually a humble request for you to please visit our technical laboratories where we have all the equipment and machinery on which we train our students of technology and engineering. And I wish you to please advise us on how we can improve upon them and take them to the next level. Thank you so much. The student volunteers will be able to coordinate their visits. Thank you, sir. I now invite Dr. Pramod Paliwal, Professor and Dean, School of Petroleum Management, PDPU, to kindly come and take the session forward. Uh, thank you uh, for the introduction of our distinguished panelists. Uh, Let's uh, start with the business. Uh, we have amongst us uh, uh, you know, petroleum engineers, economists, and a management graduate. Uh, oil and gas industry, arch the architecture and prospects, uh, very apt uh, uh, topic of the discussion. And I think a very apt panel with us. Uh, we have uh, experts from the upstream sector. Uh, we have an economist. Uh, you know, we have. Uh, experts from the oil field services uh, sector. We have uh, uh, an expert from the uh, natural gas infrastructure company. Uh, I think without wasting much of time, uh, may I invite uh, Mr. Anbar Hussain uh, to uh, share his thoughts on the topic and enlighten the audience uh, on the subject. Uh, a little uh, couple of seconds on the rules of the game. We have almost an hour available with us. So may I request the panelists to uh, speak for about 15 minutes each and once we are through with the panelists uh, sp speech or presentations whatever they would like to uh, deliver uh, then we will open the session for uh, interaction and we would invite questions so may I invite Mr. Anwar Sen uh, for his celebration thank you a very good morning to everybody uh, firstly, I like to uh, portray my personal wish to the people who celebrate Ganpati so that you have a very safe uh, celebration today. <coughs> okay, um, I would uh, like to 
go through my presentation. My presentation, the title is it, uh, Unconventional Hydrocarbon Resources, Potential Prospect and Challenges. The content of my presentation is just briefly discuss what is unconventional resources, what is the potential worldwide and some statistic locally, difference between conventional and unconventional, challenges in unconventional outside North America, because everybody likes to copy what is in North America. I give you a quick story, you know, when I was in Kuwait, we used to drill wells that produce two to 3,000 barrels oil per day, and we used to plug and abandon because they say the rate is very low. After my time in Kuwait, I moved to America, and my first project was what we call the stripper wells. They produce 10 barrels oil per day and nine barrels of water. When I first got that project, I told my manager, what the hell I'm going to do with this project? So, it is very important when people say unconventional and when they say tight, there is a perspective that difference between culture and country, right? Tight gas in North America could be very different than what you mean tight gas in other places. So before I start, I like to go just to give a safety moment. You know, <clears throat> in the oil and gas industry, we put a lot of emphasis on safety. We do very transparent, transactional about the statistic. Yet, countries like my own country in Malaysia and India, we have a lot of road accidents, unnoticed, unmeasured. And on top of that, we have a lot of accidents that are related to construction. And these poor people do not even get anything in return. In fact, their statistics are noticed. So we should look into other aspects of our uh, part of life. How do we drive as a family, as a kid, as a young generation who goes to the uh, nightlife on Saturdays and Sundays? OK? With that, I start my presentation. So for unconventional reservoirs, there is a huge spectrum, but in these 15 minutes, I just like to say that it could go from the tight sand, where it is plastic reservoir, all the way to the cold bed methane, where the gas are adsorbed to the rock. And in between, you have many spectrum, including shale. So this is just a quick cartoon, just to see what is the huge spectrum of